Oh, it's in Long Island City on a rooftop, and we're just starting another one in the Brooklyn Navy Yard. Yeah, we got one acre up on a roof, and we're starting another little over an acre, even as we speak. And they keep the building cool, right? Is that yeah, like yeah, exactly. When we install a farm ourselves, we have full control over the pacing. It's faster, it's cheaper, but it is more of a headache for us because we're literally operating a big construction site. We've got 40 CSA members all pulled off at this farm. It's getting super taxed. You know, I wake up Monday morning and I'm just like, what are we gonna do this week for CSA? We're gonna get you know, like how the hell yeah. are we gonna make this work? The city itself has made it possible for us to do this by being so overbuilt and having all these impermeable surfaces that need sponges on them. We're growing vegetables, you know, in a totally unique way, but we're also next to eight million people that can purchase them. You know. We're really, really hoping that we can stick to the deadline because these plants, I mean, some of them are so tall, you can see that they really need to get out. Normally it wouldn't be such a big deal, but it's May and this is like prime planting season right now. We should really have some seeds in the ground up there. The plants are ready to go. You see some elements of stress on them. These plants are, are definitely root bound. As soon as the soil is there, we'll be transplanting rain or shine. If this farm doesn't get built, and if we're not making money off of it soon, we're actually not going to eat this summer. <laughs>